And so the church is, first and foremost, an international body. It's not just an institution. The church is expressed in local congregations, local communities. So Paul is writing this letter to the churches in Ephesus in its original context. The church, though, is more than that. It's an organism because we're called out, all of us are called out in terms of the public affairs of the kingdom of God. And because of who Christ is, as we are called out in terms of the affairs of the kingdom of God, we have actually a universal jurisdiction. This is why the church can have the arrogance, allegedly, to preach the gospel, to go out in terms of the Great Commission. I mean, if we did not have this Christ... What could be more arrogant? This is why Christianity, by the way, is a missionary religion in a way that other religions aren't. Islam is a very bad copy. You know, it's not often that you find Hindus evangelizing or Buddhists evangelizing. Their conception of who God is and, and, God's, and, and the purpose of the divine in the earth is radically different. People often perceive Christianity to be imperialistic because it presumes to go out into all the world and make disciples. We don't do that because we believe we have anything special in and of ourselves. We do it because Christ has a universal jurisdiction and we herald his total power and victory in our relationship to Christ. Christ. 